Now it was during this time that Jesus went out to the mountain to pray. He spent all night in prayer to God. The Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 6, verse 12. If ever any man born of a woman might have lived without prayer, it would have been our spotless, perfect Lord. And yet none was ever so much in prayer as he. Such was his love for his father that he loved so much to be in communion with him. Such his love for his people that he desired so much to be in prayer for them. The fact of this eminent prayerfulness of Jesus should be a lesson for us. He has given us an example that we should follow in his steps. The time he chose was perfect. It was the hour of silence when the crowd would not disturb him. A time of inaction when all but he had ceased to labour. The season when slumber made men forget their woes and cease their applications to him for relief. But while the others found rest in sleep, he refreshed himself with prayer. The place was also well selected. He would be alone, no one would intrude. No one could observe, and so he was free from any Pharisaic ostentation or vulgar interruption. Those dark and silent hills were a fit oratory for the Son of God. Heaven and earth, in the stillness of midnight, heard the groans and sighs of the mysterious being in whom both worlds were blended. The continuance of his pleadings is remarkable. The long watches were not too long. The cold wind did not chill his devotions. The grim darkness did not darken his faith, nor loneliness check his importunity. We cannot watch with him for one hour, but he watched for us whole nights on end. The occasion for this prayer is notable, for it was after his enemies had been enraged. Prayer was therefore his refuge and solace. It was before he sent out the twelve apostles. Prayer was the gate of his enterprise the herald of his new work. Should we not learn from Jesus to resort to a special prayer when we are under peculiar trial or are contemplating fresh endeavours for the Master's glory? Lord Jesus, this night, teach us how to pray. Amen.